This is clinic day. Thanks, coach. It all starts here. I'm not skipping any steps. I'm gonna do whatever it takes. That's right. You're playing like a superstar. That's what the film is telling me. But the rest of the league, they're gonna take notice too. So you're gonna be a marked man moving forward. Hey, it's easier to get to the top than it is to stay at the top. I'm ready for it, coach. <laughs> I don't doubt it. Look, you've taken your game up a whole nother level since we met for the first time during camp. And I know there's another level you can get to. So what do you think? You up for it? I'm up for the challenge. Let's watch another one. It's the NFL on EA Sports, and we'll see the Steelers' leader at quarterback. Your top dog in the league this season, ranking first in passing yards. It's the... So out come the Steelers now for their first drive. And leading the charge, we get a look at their six-year quarterback. First and ten, Golden. He'll get this to his tight end. That's Pat Fryer move. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. An early statement on the game's first play. 18 yards and a first down. Good job there to locate his tight end, Charles, in the middle of the field. Yeah, he has good pass-catching abilities, and if they're able to continue to find him here in the early going, I think it'll help out his teammates out on the perimeter. You can take the big shots later if he occupies their attention. And they'll get this down to the 42-yard line. And early on, they're picking up right where they left off last week. And I know a lot of coaches say each game is its own. You don't really have carryover. This feels like carryover. So much confidence from the previous game that they're using to their advantage now. On first down, Golden. He's got his tight end fire move over the middle. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. Over 30 yards there. And first downs on three consecutive plays now. When they've needed a play this year, he's certainly been the guy to deliver. And as this season has gone on, he's been awfully consistent and sometimes spectacular. Again, he'll drop to throw. That throw finds Pickens in the end zone. Touchdown, Steelers. A great effort there. Hitting double digits with his 10th touchdown of the season. And the Steelers have taken the early lead on the road here at Lambeau. And the QB rating right now is sky high. He threw touchdown pass number 30 on the year last time he had the ball. And we'll look to build on things here, first and 10. Throwing to start the drive. Golden. And a loose football. And the Packers pick it up. And they're going to set up shop at the 27-yard line. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. Throwing to start the drive. Golden. Open man. That's the tight end fire move. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. First play of the drive. A success. 19 yards. Took just one play to move all the way to the 44 as they try again on first down. Looking to throw. Golden. And he knocks the ball away and it falls incomplete. He's got one touchdown pass already in this quarter. Obviously looking for number two and definitely not playing the check down game.
He'll try again with the arm here on second down. He gets this to the former Aztec, Kahale Waring. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers' 32-yard line. Back to throw again. Got an open man. It's Pickens. And he'll be marked down right at the 20-yard line. Through one quarter, 14-7, our score. They'll look to throw again. This one swung out here to Jones. And he showed off the athletic juke. Good little gain there. Not a whole lot of real estate, but a nice carry. A good passing down here. And they send three receivers to the right of the formation on second down. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. That throw finds Pickens in the end zone. Touchdown Steelers. A great play there with touchdown number two in the game and now 11 on the year. And the Steelers are an extra point away now from tying this ball game. In the second quarter and already his second touchdown. Their quarterback in this offense heading back out to the field. He had the touchdown pass on the last drive, his second of this first half as he'll try again on first down here. The throw right side is complete here on the first play of the drive. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A good pick up there, 26 yards. So into Packer territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 49-yard line. Back to throw. Golden. That is going to be caught by the tight end wearing. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. Throwing on first down. Golden drops it to Jones in the flat. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets this down about the 21 or 22. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. Coming up on second and seven. Operating from the gun. Golden. Looking left side and it's complete. Touchdown. Kahale wearing a 22-yard touchdown grab. And the Steelers are an extra point away from drawing level. These two teams in this first half, it's been fun. Back and forth, back and forth. Well, it's not fun for the defensive coordinators, <laughs> but offensive coordinators are enjoying it. Yeah, they're having streaks here, aren't they? Being able to put scores to... Their quarterback leading this offense back out. He had the touchdown pass. Throwing to start the drive. Golden. He's got this to Pickens. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. Looking to throw. Golden. A check down here to Jones. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. Back to back good plays have him on the move on first down. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. It's wearing the tight end with it. And he'll be marked down at about the 26-yard line. Now the Steelers use the first of their three timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in this first half. That's complete to his tight end flyer move. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. 
Operating from the gun. Golden. He's got Claypool for a Steeler touchdown. Chase Claypool in the final seconds of the first half. And the Steelers have a chance to tie the game here in the final seconds of the half. I don't think it's any state secret to know what they were saying before the start of this drive. Let's go and punch one in the end zone and go into the halftime feeling a heck of a lot better about ourselves. Let's go get this done. Yeah, tie things up and then you get a break. Time for the Steelers offense now to get set for their first possession of half number two. We have not seen much on offense here from either side these last few drives. We've hit a wall, so to speak. And have hit it hard, haven't we? Because the defenses right now, they seem to be a step ahead, don't they? Beating them to the point of attack, beating them to the punch. These offensive guys are tinkering like crazy. What's it going to take to get back on track? Yeah, both sides searching for adjustments. On first and ten, Golden. He's got a man. It's his tight end. That's complete. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Another first down there as this one goes for 25. Back to throw. Golden. And he's going to go down here. A sack. They push him back to the 34. More than one defender there. And that's a loss of five on the sack. So second and long. You've got to be careful not to fall out of field goal range. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. That's going to be caught by Pickens. And in for the Steelers. Touchdown. George Pickens, 34 yards, and the Steelers have moved out in front. So this game tied at the half, but we are tied no more. A touchdown there on the opening sequence of this third quarter. And what a great drive put together by their offensive coordinator. He had a plan, and they executed. Out comes this field general once more, leading his offense back onto the field. Throwing to start the drive. Golden. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Third quarter, all tied up. This is second and ten. Operating from the gun. Golden. Pickens on the slant. And they work this well upfield across the 45. 22 yards there, a first down. Well, there's your leading receiver in the NFL in terms of yardage, putting on another clinic, well over 100 yards. Are we taking notes? We should be, right? Because I'm going to go back and watch this tape and really enjoy what I'm seeing, the route running, competing for the football, just breaking down a defense. That's back-to-back -back plays over 20 yards. And that's the puts him over 5,000 yards passing now on the season already. Some rarefied air with numbers like that. But don't keep the oxygen just for yourself. Pass some over to me, my friend, because given the fact he's done a number of games... Back now at Lambeau. All even as we get ready to start the fourth. First down, Golden. He finds Pickens over the middle. And he's going to be marked down just outside the 10. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there. And they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. And it's caught. Now this will leave them a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it. So it's not that big of a deal to me. And I'm going to keep firing. Let's put the field what we got to do here. Second and one from the two. They'll go with the keeper, and he'll get in. He's over for the touchdown. It's their quarterback, 
keeping it himself on the quarterback sneak. And the Steelers answer back with a touchdown of their own. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. Well, they just gave up the score to tie it. That's the bad news. The good news, plenty of time in this fourth quarter to try to grab that lead back. Throwing on first down. Golden. And he's got his big tight end here. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A good pick up there, 26 yards. With that last completion, CD's now over 400 yards passing in the game, and quite a few of those have come via some pretty big strikes downfield. Certainly not afraid to challenge this secondary, and it's been successful. I like your observation there, partner, because I agree. This is a group more than capable of torching a secondary any week as evidenced by their combined stat line here. And in the time we have remaining, wouldn't shock me at all to see them take another deep shot. Getting down to the good stuff. All tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports. So the Steelers with the football as we get you reset. They've got a second down now as they search for a score to break this tie. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. Rashawn Gary has now recorded 10 sacks on the season. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Flushed out right. And that will be incomplete. Well, the defense certainly did its job. They held up in that situation. And now fourth down. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. Throwing to start the drive. Golden out to the right. He's got the tight end wearing. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards, picking up the first. On first and 10. Golden. And a dangerous throw there as that's knocked down and incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. To throw again. Golden, complete to Jones. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get out to your running back and it can turn into a big gain downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short gain. These two have hooked up nine times now this afternoon as they pick up the first. They go back to that well. He's had a great game. Defensively, they haven't been able to stop him. Same thing here in overtime. And sometimes that goes to the play caller's ego because a lot of times you have so many different plays you want to call. But when you spot a matchup that's working for you or a player that has the hot hand, keep giving it to them. That tells me you're mature as a play caller and it's working for them in overtime. To throw on second down. Golden. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Well, he's smart enough to avoid the taunting rule, but I'll guarantee he quietly has told them, you might want to stop coming after me downfield because I just broke up another pass and took away a big shot that you were trying to succeed with. And he will have a Steelers first down. At least it would appear that way. He didn't get it by much, but yes, they do get the conversion on third and one. Well, they pick it up on third and one on the quarterback sneak, and that's not easily done because there are extra bodies in there on the defensive side, and they're moving forward at the snap. Yeah, I was certainly expecting a handoff, weren't you? Yeah, I totally was. I thought they'd go with a back, maybe try and get a lead blocker in front. But as you talk about in different games, those guys with confidence in their offensive line, they just want to move forward and get it. Looking to throw on second down. Golden. Uh, he's got it. And he's brought down. 
He has a first down, and that catch will also put him over 100 yards receiving now on the afternoon. I think he has to be saying to himself, how did that not wind up a touchdown? Remember, he just did the tip of the ball across the plane. It's not going to get there, but they're going to be set up in court. And he is in for the score! And it is absolute stunned silence here as they win it on the road in overtime. And they wasted no time right down near the goal line, and they just sneak it in. Just do what you need to do. Big guys going up front, have the field general, the leader, just fall in behind them. Charles, normally when you see a group score this many points, it's a complete blowout. But in Yo, what's good, Sosa? I've got some good news for you, my man. Had a feeling you might. Let's hear it. Well, it's actually good news for both of us. Because as of today, I'm the agent of Nike's newest athlete. And that's me. Good guess. Oh, man. I'm repping the swoosh, baby. That's what's up. Yes, you are. What you've been doing on the field made it easy to get a deal done. Man, I've been waiting for this day to come. I know you have, man. Keep an eye out for something from Nike. I'm sure they'll be sending you some love. I'll be looking out for it. Thanks, Sosa. Of course. So the Steelers offense getting set for their first drive. On first down, Golden. Pass complete, George Pickens with it. 20! And he's brought down inside the 20 at the 18-yard line. The time called here because a member of the Texans is in some discomfort. The medical staff will attend to him, and we will step aside. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. Looking to throw. Golden. And caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Steelers. Kahale Wearing with touchdown number seven on the year. And the Steelers need just two plays on their opening drive to take the early lead. Looking sharp on that first drive. These guys, of course, coming off back-to-back -back victories. And you see that kind of advancing into this game, don't you? You certainly do. And when you have a team that doesn't get too full of itself, even though they've won two games in a row... He had the touchdown strike on that last drive, number 35 for him on the year. 
And he'll go in search of number 36 here as his guys start first and 10. Throwing on first down. Golden. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Now after the play, it looks like there's a Texan here slow to get up. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Back to throw. Golden. This one brought in by the 6'5 tight end Waring. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. And 22 more yards there and another first down. Someone sharp in this game. I mean, a touchdown pass on the first drive. and comes right back. And he's flinging it around really well here. A really nice throw there to pick up the first down. You, you kind of just feel a laser focus and confidence about him. And I think we saw that this week, didn't we? Talking to him and the coaches, they felt good about his performance coming up. Yeah, I was really impressed with that last practice we saw when they went through two-minute drill, when they went through all the different situations. Ball hardly hit the ground, and I thought, yeah, he might be locked in for this one. The Steelers at 10 and 2 on the year, and they come in off the extended break from the bye. And I think it was much needed as well because you play two, two and a half months. You know you're ready for some time off in order to get prepared for the home stretch. In fact, when they look at the schedule to start the season, I think they walk with all the good Five yards on the scramble, and that's enough to pick up the first. On first and ten, Golden got his man complete over the middle. It's Jones, and he's going to be taken down, but there's a penalty flag in the backfield. Is this a hold, or did they rough the quarterback? It's all roughing the passer penalty and an automatic first down. And that's the mark of a bad team, partner, because that's an easily preventable penalty, but they just didn't take the proper steps to make it so. Looking to throw. Golden. Touchdown! Connor Hayward. His first touchdown on the year. And the Steelers are off to a 13-0 first quarter lead. Well, this has been a flawless start for them. They score, they get the stop, and they score again, Charles. Compliment. Out is their quarterback with this offense to take over once more. He's Throwing to start the drive. Golden. This is Chase Claypool on the receiving end. And he gets this up just shy of the 15. Trying to find some space to operate, and now they'll have it. A gain of 12, a big first down to get away from the end zone. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps, and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and get the quarterback a really nice target. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Throwing again. Golden completes this one to Pickens. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. He's got a man open. It's Chase Claypool. And he will have a Steelers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Again, he'll drop to throw. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Line of scrimmage, the 31 as they line up second and 10. Operating from the gun. Golden, he completes it to Jones. And he'll be upended at the 33 following a gain of three. And guess what? It brings up third down. Second quarter action from Pittsburgh. It is the Steelers in control of the football as they've got it with a third down coming up. Operating from the gun, Golden. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 
The passing game in rhythm right now for Pittsburgh. There's another first down. Operating from the gun, Golden. And he's going to be taken down just shy of the 35. And now with that completion, he's north of 200 yards here in the first half. And he's going to break our statistician, Marvin, isn't he? Because Marvin right now is just tallying it up. Hope his hand doesn't hurt too much doing this or keeps hitting the calculator. But my goodness, what a start he is off to. By the end of this game, he could have monster numbers. He just wants to continue to be accurate. And they're going to get this down inside the 20. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. And he's brought down. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. Just picking up yardage and bunches here. These last few plays, they have moved right down the field. And just like that, they're going to be set up with a first and goal. They'll try and sneak it here. And he's in. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. The sneak successful from a yard out. And the Steelers go 98 yards and finish it off in the end zone. So, Charles... Here comes a field general leading his offense back out there for the next possession. And he's been good. Two first half touchdown passes. On first down, Golden looking left side and he's got a man. That's Joe. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. Coming up at halftime, I'll go from one personality, that's you, Charles Davis, to another one in Orlando, the coach. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL. You and Jonathan Coachman, both larger than life. No doubt about it. But you're stuck with me in this booth, <laughs> yes, and he's I miles am. away and smiling. And happy. There's a throw over the middle. It's taken in by his tight end, and he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. 27 yards there, a first down. Back to throw, Golden. And he's going to hook up with his big tight end, complete. Now the Steelers use the first of their three timeouts. As he'll get a chance to talk it over after picking up the first down. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. Back to throw again. And in for the Steelers' touchdown. Kahale Rearing with his second touchdown of the game, number eight on the season. And the Steelers continue to pull away here in this first half. What a first half he is compiling here. He's already over 100 yards receiving and now two touchdowns, CD. Brandon, you know I don't like to play the game where you start projecting when you're at a certain point. But let's face it, he's off to a tremendous... Their quarterback in this offense heading back out to the field. He's Throwing to start the drive. Golden. And seeing no options, he just tosses this one away incomplete. Now that'll bring up second down. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Well, they approach this drive with a lot of confidence after the last one ended up as a touchdown. But incompletions on their first two throws has them huddling up and trying to figure out a big play here on third down to get their momentum going again. Now the throw on third down, not 
tipped away and incomplete. That might be the third down stop that they needed because they've had a lot of trouble slowing down this offense in the first half. This might be their opportunity. Time for the Steelers offense now to get set for their first possession of half number two. To throw from his end zone. Golden. Oh, that's into double coverage and intercepted. Jalen Petrie picks it off. And the Texans are going to take possession of the football. He threw the interception on the previous drive, but that only led to three points. Defense. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Got an open man, it's Pickens. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. Looking to throw, Golden. And he's gonna be caught by the tight end wearing. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. So a first and 10 now in Houston territory at the 43. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And they're going to work this down to about the 32-yard line. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try to put the hammer down and finish this one off. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. They'll look to throw again. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And they're going to move it down inside the 25. They'll come to the line needing only two yards to gain the first here. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Completes this to Waring. And they are able to stop it, but he does take it all the way to the two. Well, they were in search of a short gain on third down, and they wind up nabbing over 20 yards. A lot of deflated looks on that defense. It seems like they just could not find a way to get a key stop on third down. Here's another conversion, and now this offense, they're in a position to go up even further as they've got it first and goal. Now Jones, and he's going to take it in for a Steeler touchdown. Ronald Jones, his second rushing touchdown of the year. And the Steelers have moved out in front by three. Here he is, the man taking the snaps under center, heading out for the next one. Throwing on first down. Golden. And he knocks the ball away and it falls incomplete. Well, thanks for joining us here on a Thursday night in the NFL. Third quarter, second and ten coming up. A throw over the middle taken in. And he'll be corralled right around the 34. The result of first down is a quick slant gets him 14. One quarter remains here in this Thursday night matchup. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Operating from the gun, Golden. This one middle of the field, it's winning the tight end. 
And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. On first and 10, Golden. This one swung out here to Jones. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. Yeah, that's good for a gain of six, and it's second down. Back to throw. Golden. And that is knocked away in the middle of the field and incomplete. The offense on third down tonight, they've been good. Three for four thus far. This is third and four. Operating from the gun. Golden. The left side completion to Jones. And he will have a Steelers first down by about a yard. It's a gain of five on third and four. And they're going to put this game on ice in the fourth quarter, but still not afraid to throw it as they show there. You want to play the game with confidence, and they have a guy who's in control right now. Their trigger guy throwing it, they feel just as confident with him doing that as they would if they tried to run the ball and run the clock out. And a penalty flag comes in as that one winds up incomplete, but the contact is going to move the ball well downfield. Well, there were about 70,000 that were quickly calling for that flag. It comes out there for pass interference. What do you think, partner? A little sarcasm in that cheering from this court. Touchdown! Kahale Waring from eight yards out. And the Steelers are closing in on a third straight win as they widen the gap further here in the fourth quarter. Well, he has been fun to watch throwing the football in this one. And certainly not fun for that defense, though, Charles. Now up to four touchdown passes in this ball game. Yeah, we're supposed to be neutral, but I'm feeling their pain right now because he is absolutely... And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. Throwing to start the drive. Golden. He's got a man. It's his tight end. That's complete. And they're going to get this down to about the 17-yard line here. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Looking to throw. Golden. He finds Pickens over the middle. And they've got this down to about the 12-yard line. Second down, it's Jones. And he'll be taken down here at about the 11. It'll be a pickup of a couple, and it leaves him with a third and three. It's again, Back to throw. Golden. This is caught. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Nine yards that time. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down, went his way, it worked out. Doesn't matter whether they've scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. But Charles, in this win, they've really just had one speed, and that's been all out. They're still driving the ball. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. Now it looks like he'll throw here. A check down here to Jones. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. They'll wind up getting seven on the play. And that's going to bring up second down. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. Pickens on the slant. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Seven catches for him now in this last one. The first down. That's the number two receiver in the NFL in terms of yardage. And tell you what, a few more plays like that, he won't be number two for long. But that's what often happens when you have competitors running around the field. These guys know where they stand in relationship to yardage, totals, numbers, the whole deal. And let's face it, all of them, they all want to be number one. 
An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Operating from the gun. Golden. And he's got his big tight end here. And he's going to be taken down with another first down as the stop's made at the Texans' 33. Well, partner, under the lights in primetime, this offense, they gave the nation quite... So here are the Steelers now to take over for the first time. Throwing to start the drive. Golden, throw left side complete. That's Jones. And from the 25, they worked this to the 29, a gain of four. This defense for the Niners, they were excellent a week ago in the victory over Arizona. It's a little bit of lightning talking with the defense coordinator about their performance last week because the feeling was that it was a good, solid performance. They did what they needed to do to get the job done and get the win, but definitely a few lapses that they're looking to correct. 23 yards the pick up there. So from inside Niner territory now, this is first and 10 at the 48-yard line. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. Pass complete, George Pickens with it. And he'll be brought down inside the 40-yard line. And the numbers from a week ago for Pickens. Seven catches, 109 yards. And he's trying to prove the adage, it's not just how you start, it's how you finish. And he is finishing awfully strong, takes great care of his body. I expect him to go ahead and put a cap around this season. To throw on second down, Golden finding Pickens for another catch. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. Holding offense. Uh, he's trying to protect his quarterback's blind side. Got down second the hole. You have one job over there. Make sure that man does not get hit. So if you have to hold occasionally, do so because they don't catch all of them. This time they did. And they'll get this down to the 42-yard line. Well, he was a busy man out of the backfield a week ago. They got the ball early and often. I had no doubt in my mind that it'll be a big part of the game plan here as well. From the gun on third down, Golden able to find his man. It's Pickens. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers' 31-yard line. The passing game in rhythm right now for Pittsburgh. There's another first down. Solid opening drive so far, Charles. They've moved this football into field goal range, but you know that they want to cap this off with six and not three. Absolutely. As one of the better coaches in the league always tells me, on offense, I want their body blows all game long and finish it with uppercuts. Well, here are the body blows right now. He's hoping in one uppercut will take care of the end of this drive. A good pick up there, 26 yards. A lot of precision being shown on this opening drive. They've been methodical, they've been crisp, and as a reward, they're going to be set up with an early first and goal. 
Looking to throw. Golden. And it's caught. He'll get only two there, and it's second and goal. And so far, a very nice, methodical opening drive. This has to feel of a scripted drive that they rehearsed perfectly all week long, and now they're executing it on game day. Strip looks good so far. And they'll get him down just shy of the goal line at about the one. The San Francisco, and he'll get in. He's over for the touchdown. A great effort there. Scoring on the sneak from a yard out. And the Steelers will claim the early lead as they're on the board first here tonight. So Pittsburgh retakes the field for their second offensive possession. They'll be looking to duplicate that first drive, the one that got them that 7 0 lead. Of course they would. I mean, look, they're on the road. So getting the 7 0 lead was huge for them, right? Imagine getting up two touchdowns on the road, taking the crowd out of the game. It'd be ideal. Now, the first play of the drive there is incomplete. His back has been a dependable safety valve all game, so he went back to him when his first read was covered. Just unable to connect, so the play results in no game. And second and ten, he'll look to throw again. And now look at this, big game, but a fumble. And now this is scooped up by the 49ers. And the return will stop right around the 25. In our meetings this week, they kind of tipped us off. They wanted to play ultra-aggressive, forcing fumbles. They just did that right there. Here again comes the captain of this offense, leading his crew back out there now. He's got to be feeling pretty good, playing well. Team has the lead, so just looking to mount a drive here that ends in the end zone. And all quarterbacks will tell you, hey, we love a running game, helps us out. But at the end of the day, they want to rely on their arm, throw the football, feel good about things, keep things moving in the right direction. Right now, that's exactly what we're seeing. And we'll see if that continues. That's a good job there by the corner. We do talk about this a lot, that a lot of corners see their job as simply covering receivers. Tackling isn't everyone's thing. But in this case, he came up quickly and made a nice, short tackle. Oh, not sure he saw the linebacker there as that's batted down and incomplete. And before they can run this third down play, we're going to get a timeout. So as they take it over, we step aside. And that is incomplete, but a penalty flag coming in. This could be a That's first down. Defense. Well, the crowd doesn't like that. Was going to bring up fourth. Now oh, it's first. <laughs> they don't like it at all, do they? It brings them back into it, but really not in a positive way. Now they're angry. That can jangle the team a little bit as well. Pass interference ruined that series of downs for them. On first down. Golden. He'll get this to his tight end. That's Pat Fryermuth. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work this to the 45. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. You can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go through his own blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. Again, he'll drop to throw. Finds Pickens outright. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers' 32-yard line. 14 yards that time for number 14. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of, until they stop him, why not go back to him? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. And they're going to get this down inside the 20. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch. But you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. And 
and stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. Another nice gain, 16 yards there and a first down again. Well, they certainly made a point of getting him involved in the passing game here in the first half. They must have seen something in the scouting that said, hey, we can capitalize on him getting the ball possibly in the open. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Steelers. Ronald Jones, his third rushing touchdown of the year. And they are able to add on to their advantage. Well, solid blocking up front from the guys on the offensive. Now here's the signal caller getting ready to lead this offense again. to throw from his end zone. Golden looking left side and he's got a man. That's Jones. And they'll mark him down right around the nine, just shy of the 10. Looking to throw on second down. Golden, he'll find Jones again, complete. They're gonna hurry back to the line now. Throwing on first down. Golden. He'll drop this underneath for Jones. And he's going to have a first down here. They're also into field goal range at the 28. Now a timeout called for by the offense as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. He's got his tight end, Fryermuth, over the middle. Now the Steelers use the second of their three timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Back to throw again. Got an open man, it's Pickens. A big play there just before halftime and even 50 yards. Now the offense will burn their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. After the big play, a chance to finish now on first and goal. It's a quarterback sneak. And they'll get him down just shy of the goal line at about the one. Second and goal. And he is over the line for another rushing touchdown. Is he a quarterback or is he a tailback? A great play there with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Steelers go nearly the length of the field. And... One more drive here for the Steeler offense in this first half. Tag! They'll start the drive with a carry by Jones. And defensively, they're just looking to keep him contained as they're able to get him down. this all the way to midfield mark him down at the 49 the catch and run good for 24 yards i'll tell you what a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them and these guys have been taking advantage so far so one play and they're already just shy of midfield Now the first carry for Bush. And he'll get what he can up the middle. Three yards. That'll bring up second down. Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of them will be. But still, all in all, a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Back to throw. Golden. Open man. That's the tight end, Fryermuth. 
And he'll be brought down inside the 40-yard line. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz game, and you can drop anyone out of your defensive front, defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. On first and ten, Golden. They'll get five out of the scramble. It's second down. Oh, partner, just a second earlier, and they might have had him because they certainly thought they were going to close in and drop him behind the line of scrimmage, but he had just enough time to dodge the pressure, and he ends up getting yardage before being stopped. To throw on second down. Golden completes this one to Pickens. And he's going to have a gain of 11 to the 11 before he's brought down first and 10. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage. So timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. On first down, Golden. Uh, he's got it. Uh, he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. So the completion results there in nine yards. And they'll have a second and one forthcoming. We're off to the fourth corner here in week 15. Happy holidays. Back now here in Santa Clara. It's Steeler football, and they have the lead as well as we begin quarter number four. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. They'll go with a keeper, and he is over the line for another rushing touchdown. Is he a quarterback, or is he a tailback? It's their quarterback, scoring on the sneak from a yard out. And the Steelers are about to make it four straight as they add to this fourth quarter advantage. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. Throwing to start the drive. Golden. That's going to go as a loss of seven, and it'll set them back for second down. Operating from the gun. Golden. Quick slant fighting Claypool. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 40. On third down. Golden. He's got a man open. And now look at this. Big game, but a fumble. And fortunately, he's able to get this one back. So it is a first down. Defensively well done to jar that free. I'll tell you what, though, offensively, he's got to be lucky after the catch and the fumble that that didn't go too far away from him. And the way the football is shaped, it's not built to bounce true, is it? It can be squirt in any direction and move in any way. He was so lucky. Now. Thank his lucky stars. He was able to get that one back. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And intercepted. Maybe the turning point they need. Picked off by Kwan Williams. And the Niners are right back in this football game. Pittsburgh set to take over again on offense. Let's go. They'll start out on the ground with Jones. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. And the 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the ball game. Now a second timeout called for by the defense. 
That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. On third down, here's Jones. And he is going to have the first down, and that is going to suck the life right out of this crowd. And whistles, and they take their final timeout with seven seconds left. Bush trying the middle. And he finds a little bit of room, enough for four yards. It'll be second down. So this one in the win column for the Pittsburgh Steelers. And this one wasn't easy. It had an East Coast team, Charles, going west, playing a night game, but somehow they were able to get the job done. Yeah, about playing a night game. They're closer to being sleepy because of East Coast time with their bodies when you're kicking off to play the game. So that's a real big accomplishment for them to get that done. The flip side, too, is traveling home in the old days, you had to wait to get the video for your next game. You had all those...